Hi guys, I'm Dave. This is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer that has been quite hard to find. This is Bell's Black Note Stout 2016. Um, I have not find, found any of the 2017 yet. Um, this is a stout, is another, another uh, bourbon barrel aged beer. So um, I'm pretty excited about this just because it's, it's gotten a lot of hype. Um, I've seen a number of fives on um, on tap, and this is a hundred points, I believe, on Beer Advocate. Oh, it smells fantastic! Definitely boozy, bourbony. Pouring this in a sniffer glass today. Um, probably the appropriate glassware for this kind of beer. And a lot of these darker beers uh, taste a little better on the warmer side. So let's see where we're at. That's a colder than I would have expected. It's been sitting out for a few minutes. I'm at about 43. So we will see how the flavors come out as it warms up. Um, like I said, really anticipating this one. They use two different kinds of um, two different kinds of stout and then they age them and I think they mix them right. It, it, it's an expedition stout and a double cream stout. First sip is really good. Very, very smooth. A little bit sweet. Um, there's some bourbon notes. There's some light coffee. Light I shouldn't say light coffee. There's some espresso notes, but they're not very heavy. There's a little bit of dark chocolate. It's definitely a... Um, you can definitely taste the aging process. Uh, the bourbon barrels, the wood. Uh, it's, it's just all around pretty good. So here I got some notes on uh, this beer. The uh, 2016 is 10.8% and I believe 65 on the IBUs. I would, it's not a bitter beer though, it's, I mean it's more sweet than bitter. The smell is so good. It smells boozy like, like you're smelling a glass of whiskey. But then there was all these other flavors and scents that, that come to the surface. Coffee, chocolate, maybe even like cranberries. Or apricot, some sort of like a, I mentioned dried fruit in the, in the, in the flavor notes, but something like that. Very good. Um, not cheap. Uh, Twenty four ninety nine a four pack. So yeah, that definitely not a not a cheap beer. Um, so this beer is considered uh, an American double imperial stout. So a lot of beers are called imperial. So I did a little research on what it means for a beer to be called imperial. So the history of it is. The Brits used to brew beer, and it was sold to the Imperial Court in Russia. That's why you see a lot of Russian Imperial Stouts. Um, and there's a number of reasons why they would do it. Um, some people, it, what, what they would do is they would brew the beer stronger. Sometimes it had two, three times the amount of uh, malton hops, which would produce a higher ABV. I guess there would be more to ferment, and it would make it a stronger beer. Some say it was to impress the Russians. Some say it was that the beer wouldn't um, sour on the trip, that it, that it was more alcohol, it would, there's less to go bad. But anyway, um, so I've, I've heard mixed things on what Imperial means. Um, I've also heard anything above like 8% is an Imperial. I've heard anything with double digit uh, ABV is Imperial. So, on a number of those um, 
definitions, I think this beer qualifies as an Imperial at 10.8%. Uh, Very good. Um, this is one you could probably drink a couple. I don't know if you should. <laughs> Um, you maybe should savor them for special one-off occasions. I'm not sure. Share with a friend, but these are. Uh, this is this is very good. For me, this is up there with like a last snow. Maybe not quite as much showiness as last snow with the coconut and all that, but the, the level of complexity and overall. I don't know, just quality is uh, is very good. It's a perfect balance, and it has a great, nice arc as it, of flavors as as it goes through fr fr from the initial nose, to the initial mouth feel to the finish. It starts, it starts off with that sweet, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, that a lot of bourbon barrel beers have like a hint of a syrupiness, and this definitely has that. And I enjoy that in, in a bourbon barrel beer. Barley wine also has that syrupiness even more so. It's a little chilly here today, guys. Um, it's kind of a crappy afternoon. Uh, it's like 55 degrees and drizzling all day. It's been, it's been kind of miserable. It's a little uncommon here for us in Orlando. Yeah, this is just this is so good. So you get that you get that hint of syrupiness, hint of sweetness. Definitely boozy, bourbony barrel smell. And it sits so softly on your tongue. There's no harshness at all in your mouth. And that's where the other flavors start to come out. The slight coffiness, the maltiness, the um, almost like caramelly, maybe that's kind of mixed into that syrupy flavor, and, and dark chocolate notes really start to start to come to the surface. And on the finish, there's maybe a little bit of dark chocolate flavor on the finish, but there's no weird aftertaste or anything like that that you can get with some of these beers. Um, like I just did a three-part series on uh, some Duclaw coffee stouts, and they all had a weird, something weird in them. I don't know if they something they use as a preservative or something, but there was some sort of weird flavor that I, I definitely did not care for. But this, this is devoid of all of that. So my buddy Scott, who you've seen on the channel, um, he... Uh, was looking for this beer and so I was out somewhere and he asked me if they had it and they did not um, so then I was uh, the total wine up here in Orlando and I found it so I picked him up a four pack also and um, yeah I was happy to find it the guy at total wine I uh, said last year they didn't get it at all so and this is the um, 2016 so I'm curious to see if this has just been sitting around for a year or if they're gonna get I mean, it has to be I've been sitting around for a year, but curious to see if they're going to get the 2017 also. Let me read the back of the bottle to you. It says, uh, Black's, Bell's Black Note is a multi-harmony of dark chocolate espresso and dried fruit notes aged in freshly retired oak bourbon barrels aimed squarely at stout aficionados. Black Note makes a grand statement about the art of the dark. I think that's well, uh, well said. This beer comes from uh, Comstock, Michigan. Also, um, Bell's has a lot of is some other good things. Bell's Two Hearted. Um, Bell's Two Hearted has won a number of awards, and for a while, I don't know, I don't know if I was just getting bad batches or what, but I had a hard time seeing the draw in the Two Hearted. But um, the last couple times I've had it, I've really enjoyed it. Um, maybe at some point I'll, I'll uh, review that beer here on the channel. So, I guess some of the benefit of drinking out of the sniffer glass is there's a little bit left, which is always good. Mm. 
it, almost like no no lacing to speak of. Um, a little bit of, uh, you know, just coats the glass well. Maybe it didn't warm up as much as I expected because the temperature is not that much warmer than the beer is. Let's see where we're at now. Forty-seven degrees. So that's a little, that's a little warmer. But I, I as it, I mean, I'm sure it was warming up my hand. So it's one thing with a snifter. If you if you cup the bottom, you're definitely going to warm the warm the liquid up. That's why wine glasses have a stem. So when you're drinking white wine, you can hold it by the stem, and you, your the heat from your hand doesn't transfer into the the wine. Man, that's good. It's it's so smooth and such a complex mix of flavors. It's really really good. Some of the beauty of a beer like this, though, is that you can't get it all the time. If you could get it all the time, it would become. Uh, a couple of buddies of mine were talking. We were talking about. Um, New Belgium Brewing's Fat Tire. So for a while we did not have uh, Fat Tire distribution or New Belgium distribution here in Florida. So somebody would go across the border, which for us is uh, three, four hours away, and would bring back a case of Fat Tire every now and then. And if you were lucky, you'd pick them up. But now that we have it here and it's readily available at Publix and wherever else you wanna um, buy beer, even some gas stations carry it now. It's kind of lost some of the appeal. And it gives me a headache. Every time I've drank it, it gives me a headache. But it's delicious. This, though, I think definitely, being that it's elusive and it's hard to find, and it's great quality, but it's not something that you'd want to overindulge in. It's something you'd want to keep special because it, it really is its that good. I'll see the sun's coming out a little. So, if I had to rate this beer, scale of one to five, as I usually do, this would be in the four and a half range for me. It's 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 way up there. Four and a half, maybe even four and three quarters. I think I'm gonna go four and a half though. It's. I, I don't even know what I would do to improve on it. It's just good just the way it is. Some beers you like, oh, I wish it was a little too boozy, it's a little too caramely, it's a little too much toffee, a little too whatever. This is, is just right the way it is. I mean, it's not heavy. It really, for as dark as it is, I mean, it's, it's darker than cola. I mean, it's very black. Dark brown, actually very dark brown. Um, it's definitely not black. It's very, very dark brown, and the color changes. It must. It must get a little reddish or amberish from the bourbon barrels, just like bourbon does. When they first put bourbon in the bourbon barrels, it's uh, it's called White Dog, and it's actually clear. It's a clear alcohol, like moonshine, like a you know, like a white moonshine, a white lightning, and they put it in the bourbon barrels, and the color comes from the char inside the bourbon barrels. So I'm sure some of that, most of that's used up by the first or second use of that barrel, but I'm sure by the time they put beer in it, some of that still translates. That is good. That's really good. I would definitely recommend, if you can find this, pick it up. Bell's Black Note Stout. This is the 2016 version. Um, 2017 is out. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, find it. I think you'd enjoy it for sure. It's, it's a great, great beer. Last sip. It still smells great. I mean, it's just a, over, this, was a, this was a great beer. I'm going to give it a four and a half. So, until next time. 
Cheers.